and San Mateo County in the California State Senate. I'm joined here uh, today uh, by, uh, I think, the quartet, I'll call us, <laughs> uh, who worked very, very hard to pass net neutrality in California. Our, uh, my colleague, uh, Senator, and the uh, President uh, pro tempore uh, emeritus of the Senate, Kevin DeLeon of Los Angeles, uh, Assemblymember Miguel Santiago uh, of Los Angeles, and Assemblymember Rob Bonta uh, from the Oakland Alameda uh, area in the East Bay. Uh, and uh, a few hours ago, actually about an hour ago, uh, the State Senate uh, gave final sign-off on uh, Senate Bill 822, uh, our net neutrality uh, bill, which uh, enacts the strongest uh, net neutrality protections in the country, which adopts all of the Obama-era uh, net neutrality protections that Donald Trump's FCC uh, repealed. Uh, and yesterday, uh, we uh, uh, received approval from the Assembly in an overwhelming vote, uh, bipartisan vote, with a number of Republicans joining all Democrats. Uh, and today, it was a similar uh, result. The bill is now on its way to Governor Brown's desk, where he'll have until the end of September to, we hope, sign the bill. Uh, and we will make the case to Governor Brown that he should sign the bill, uh, that California should uh, be setting the standard of what net neutrality protections uh, look like uh, in the United States, with, of course, an eventual goal of having a national uh, net neutrality standard uh, that is what we uh, passed uh, today. Uh, you know, th this matters so much, uh, not just, you know, the, sometimes the opposition couched just as a battle of the titans. This was about Netflix and Facebook versus uh, AT&T and Comcast. That's actually not what it's about. The Netflixes and Googles and Facebooks of the world, uh, they can, uh, they have enough money, they can pay their way out of anything if they're forced into a fast lane or a slow lane. Uh, but this is about um, uh, small, mid-sized businesses, uh, businesses that don't have a lot of money. The next generation of Googles and Netflixes, companies where they're in someone's garage right now and they're just trying to really be able to move forward and they can't do that unless they can access the internet and unless people can actually find their service online. Uh, this is about um, activists uh, who organize online and rely on people being able to connect on the internet. It's about labor unions who are under so much pressure right now uh, being able to use the internet to organize. Uh, it's about media outlets who aren't necessarily gigantic with deep pockets, who don't have AT&T's backing of Time Warner. Uh, who need to be able to access consumers. Uh, and it, if we don't have net neutrality protections, we don't have a level playing field. What that means without net neutrality is that AT&T and Comcast and Verizon and other internet service providers get to pick winners and losers. They get to decide who people can find on the internet, which websites, and who gets blocked. They can block any website that they don't like or that isn't paying them enough money. They can decide, well, you're paying more, so you get easy and fast access uh, to the, through the internet. You're not paying enough, so you're going to go into a slow lane and become unusable. So this is about a level playing field and an internet where we as individuals uh, get to decide where we go on the internet instead of being told by internet service providers or manipulated by internet service providers into going where they want us to go about an open internet. And what the legislature did today uh, is just, uh, it, I, I don't, it, it is just incredible. Uh, when we started early in the year with this legislation, uh, we knew that we had a huge fight and we didn't know what was gonna happen, uh, but we got it done and we got it done because this is what the people want. And the people have said over and over again, loud and clear that they want an open internet and the legislature listened, and I'm really proud uh, to be a Californian. I'm always proud to be a Californian, but especially today, I'm proud to be a Californian. Uh, we're also now joined by several other co-authors of the bill. Uh, Assemblymember Laura Friedman uh, from the Glendale, Pasadena area. Uh, my assembly member from San Francisco, <laughs> uh, David Chu, uh, and assembly member Ash Kalra from the San Jose area. Uh, with that, I want to turn it over to uh, Senator De Leon. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll be uh, a very brief because I know a lot of folks have a lot to say. Um, I know that our senator from San Francisco 
uh, was very articulate um, and very passionate on this issue. I want to thank everybody here, uh, all the co-authors, but especially um, Senator Scott Weiner for his incredible work, for his incredible efforts, uh, for his fortitude, for his resiliency. I want to thank uh, my very good friend. Um, I'm his senator. Uh, uh, he's a, a wonderful sen uh, summit member from Los Angeles, uh, Mr. Miguel Santiago. Uh, also, Mr. Rob Bonta from Alameda, from Orange, uh, Orange County, from uh, Ala Alameda County, from uh, from Oakland. Um, we worked very hard together. Our, our staffs uh, worked very hard. I think that Senator Scott Weiner uh, articulate uh, very brilliantly um, that this is a huge victory for consumers. This is a huge victory for businesses, both small as well as midsize, uh, because quite frankly, um, no one should have the right. Uh, to actually impose any premium price, a fee, if you will, to have access to the Internet. The bottom line is this. The Internet is vital to our democracy because it's part of our daily lives, uh, the way we socialize and engage uh, with our friends, our neighbors, our loved ones uh, across the city, across the state, across the nation, across the world, the way we sell our, consume our goods to consumers, uh, the way we do our own financial transactions or entertain, it, whether it's entertainment, uh, whether it's uh, issues of... Uh, uh, life and death with regards to the fires and our firefighters having access and not being throttled, if you will, to receive the necessary information uh, to make difficult decisions that uh, uh, endanger um, lives as well as property. So this is a huge victory for consumers. Uh, lastly, I'll say this. We didn't have to get here, but because of the FCC uh, decision, because of this administration on a whole variety of issues, whether it's the issue of immigration, whether it's the issue of climate, whether it's the issue of the environment, whether it's the issue of trade and tariffs, now the issue of whether uh, the Internet will be free and will be democratic to all consumers, regardless of who they are and where they come from, regardless of their financial wherewithal. This is a huge victory. It's our hope that other states in the country will be able to replicate what we've done here uh, and move forward. Obviously, this is best under a federal framework, but the bottom line is this, because it happened at the federal level, the state of California, once again, is exercising that unique leadership. So kudos to everyone who's involved here. Huge victory for consumers and businesses. I want to thank all the, our colleagues uh, who have put a, a great deal of work and a great deal of muscle in making this happen. Nothing less than heroic what has happened here in the legislature, because we've now led the nation not just Democrats stepped up the vote and pressed that green button, but Republicans stepped up the vote and pe pressed that green button because we made a very strong case for the strongest net neutrality bill in the nation. And we expect this trend to continue because if we can do it in California, we can do this across the country. Make no mistake about it. It was a hard fought battle, but make no mistake about it. We are going to make the strongest case to the governor to sign this bill, because this is essential to our democracy. We know that our progressive values will, will prevail, and we know that this is essential to the challenge and the resistance uh, that we have towards the Trump administration's destruction of the Internet. California will set the trend on establishing the strongest net neutrality bill in the country, and from then on, it will just be a tidal wave, and we will see a strong net neutrality uh, run across this country. Thank you. I want to hand it over to my colleague, uh, Bonta. <laughs> Thank you. Um, excited to be here. Rob Bonta in the California State Assembly representing the Oakland area. I'm really proud to be with the co authors up here. Thank you to Senators Wiener and De Leon, Assemblymember Santiago. We spent a lot of hours together, and our staffs spent a lot of hours together, and I'm proud that we were able to deliver this final product and, and to deliver this day, which is a proud day, a great day for California, for Californians, for consumers. Um, and it sends a message across the nation. When we establish the strongest set of net neutrality protections in the nation, uh, we set a standard, we put down a marker, we plant a, a, a flag in the ground and we say this is what's possible. We're doing it here in the biggest state, the most diverse state in my view, the greatest state in the nation, and you can do it too, and you should do it. And so this is California being California. This is us leading. And I'm so proud of our, our group of authors for, for getting us to this point where we're on the verge of getting a bill signed that will be the strongest set of protections in the nation. And, you know, it's been said, but it should be said again. Make no mistake that the Internet and having a free and open Internet is an indispensable part 
of every Californian's life, uh, of every American's life. And, you know, from running a small business to running public safety services to applying for a job to getting necessary health care, uh, it, it's indispensable and essential for all those purposes. And so um, we've created that free and open Internet. We've created the strongest protections of the nation. And I'm very proud of, of what we've done in California. This is uh, one of many great successes uh, that we have been accomplishing here in California, but something that we need to, to pause and take stock of because this is a tremendous victory, a tremendous accomplishment. Again, a great day for California and Californians. Yeah, and we're also now joined by uh, my great colleague, Senator Nancy Skinner uh, from the Oakland, Berkeley, East Bay area. Um, so, Laura, David, you want to make some brief remarks? Or Hi, I'm Laura Friedman from Glendale, representing Glendale Burbank, La Cunada, and parts of Los Angeles. I just wanted to briefly um, thank, first of all, the principal authors of this bill. This has been a huge fight, and it's been a lot of work over the past couple of years here, and this is the culmination of that. But I also wanted to just add a little story. A couple of years ago, my grandmother died at 102. And when she turned 100, we asked her, we said, well, you've been living now for 100 years on this earth. What is the invention or what was the change that you thought changed the world the most? And she didn't even take a pause. She said, the internet. She said, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> but I can tell you that that has connected the world in a way that nothing has done before. Now all of a sudden, people in a second can transmit information around the world and it's connected all of the people in the earth in a way that had never been connected before. From the very beginning of the internet, people talked about how information wanted to be free. And I think people have a vision of this incredible tool as being an egalitarian tool and somehow very closely linked with democracy. And the idea that people can control it and somehow diminish or prevent information from flowing is something that feels very undemocratic to my constituents. And we heard a lot from people about that. It wasn't so much about any kind of um, technology or who owned what. They just would say the internet should belong to everybody and everyone should have equal access to it and everyone should use this tool because if you don't have that equality, you really have a series of haves and have nots and that's not democracy. This bill is now beginning to have California lead again in leveling that playing field and I'm profoundly grateful to Senator Weiner. Bonta, to Miguel Santiago, who's done so much work, Nancy Skinner, uh, David Chu, and everyone has been involved in this. Thanks. And of course, Kevin DeLeon. <laughs> Every Californian should feel great today because the state legislature, all the colleagues standing here and my other colleagues, took decisive action to protect an essential consumer right and something that unfortunately was stripped and taken away by the new federal administration. So this is a great day for Californians and it really is a, I'm very proud that my colleagues stuck together and pushed back on the reversal of the net neutrality rule and we've restored it here in California. It's a great day. I'm going to be brief, but uh, David Chu representing San Francisco, I'm proud of all my colleagues, particularly my state senator, Scott Weiner, uh, for helping to lead this fight. Um, I'm proud that California responded to the fight that was brought to us by one Donald Trump and his FCC. We wouldn't have had to engage in this but for a decision that was made. Uh, and I'm proud of the fact that California has led the way for the Internet to innovate. Uh, we have led that. I know that as someone who started an internet company and ran it for 10 years. We are the innovators. And we're not only the innovators when it comes to the internet, but politically we have had to innovate to protect the internet. And that is an incredibly important uh, step forward. I'm proud of our legislature. Uh, this is very likely not the end of the story. We're going to have to continue to fight, but I look forward to working with and standing alongside our colleagues in doing that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ash Kalra, uh, Summit District 27 in San Jose. And I am just so um, honored to be here with my colleagues, and, and I think they've all really b expressed how much work has been put into this, and I don't think that can really be overstated. Um, but when you think about the Internet, and you think about equity, uh, you think about economic opportunity, you think about even public safety, 
And you know, I'm from San Jose. We coined ourselves the capital of Silicon Valley. Yet, in many neighborhoods in San Jose, families struggle to be able to provide access to the internet, which we know for children now is more important than ever. Um, fighting the Mendocino complex fire, we had firefighters from Santa Clara County go up there to fight the fires, and their internet access was throttled in their in, in their emergency vehicle, which was the one that was responsible for connecting all the other vehicles and trying to tell them where to go. Uh, their speeds were reduced to one two hundredths of the speeds of, the, of, of which they paid for. And the only way that the company was going to put the speed back to where it was is if they accepted a new plan on the spot that doubled how much they were paying. And, and these are the kinds of things that we're talking about. You know, sometimes I think, you know, we're surfing on the web and looking at cat videos, what have you, and we, could, we kind of make light of what, of what we do sometimes on the internet, but the reality is the internet now is as important a utility, as important a function of who we are as a society as anything else. And so whether it's a child in Eastside San Jose that's living in the shadows of some of the great tech companies in the world that hopes to one day work in those buildings, or whether it's a firefighter that's spending time away from their family, uh, we want to make sure that they have all the resources and tools available to them to be successful. And so I'm so grateful to all my colleagues that put in so much time, uh, and I especially want to thank Senator Scott Weiner, um, who I think um, really put everything that he could into this, and I think it shows with the product that we have here today and the history that we're making today. So thank you all so much, and, and I'm very excited about California leading the way once again. Thank you. Uh, I know we have a bunch of, <coughs> bunch of reporters who are watching. They can't really communicate to ask questions, <laughs> but, um, but KQED is here, so. Well, any questions? Um, you got a monopoly. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do have a question. I mean, how are you, um, are you prepared for the likely lawsuits that are going to come should the governor sign this? Uh, yes, absolutely. We have a terrific attorney general uh, and his staff, and they, uh, we worked uh, with the attorney general and his very brilliant staff every step of the way, and they uh, were very conscious of er, the fact that we are going to get sued because uh, the, the in internet service providers have said from the beginning that they're going to uh, sue us. And so uh, the attorney general and his staff worked with us to really tighten everything and make everything as strong uh, as possible. Uh, but, you know, the reality is California, get, we get, when you're in government, you get sued. When people don't like the policy choices you make, they sue you, uh, and they have a right to do that, and that's why we have courts. Uh, we believe that the bill is very defensible, and we're going to fight with everything we have to defend it. Is it? <laughs> okay, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's, let's do a. Thank you. Let's do a, this is a selfie. Oh, this right. is the king of yeah. selfies <laughs> here. Let's do it.